Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Hardcat Feature Focus. In this live action event, we will be demonstrating the CAT scan RFID functionality. I'll be showing you the mass RFID audit function, and from there, looking at the infield asset exception feature. We'll also see the asset RFID locator feature in action. For this demonstration, I've placed RFID tags on a group of assets, including a mobile phone, a water steamer, a hammer, a portable hard drive, two air blowers, a drill set, and a drill, as well as the vehicle, although you can pretty much apply tags to any asset of your choosing. I've placed all these assets inside the vehicle, with the exception of one, which we'll find later when using the CAT scan exceptions functionality. Today, I'm scanning this vehicle to identify the assets within its interior. But this same technology can be used to scan all sorts of locations or places. Examples include utility vehicles, emergency service vehicles, warehouses, storerooms, or even scanning a person to ensure they have all their correct assets when they are leaving for the day. I've used a variety of RFID tags, including on-metal, off-metal, and versatile from several manufacturers, including Xerify, Confidex, and Alien. The readout I'm using today is a Zebra MC55AO, paired with a Zebra RFD5500 RFID sled. Together, they make a powerful asset tracking solution. Welcome to the Mass RFID Audit feature. To the top right of your screen, you will be watching CAT scan in action whilst I complete the audit. To start a Mass RFID Audit, we first of all have to open up CAT scan. We go double click on the CAT scan application. With CAT scan now open, we can select the Mass RFID option. The software will now open and connect to the reader. Our mass RFID feature can operate in three different modes, by location, by RFID tag, or by person. Today, we are using the location mode. We first have to select the location we wish to audit. In this case, the vehicle has been set up as a location. I can easily select it by scanning the vehicle's barcode which has been placed on the inside of the windshield. Or alternatively, you can select it from the location structure or by using the page selector on the right hand side. With the location now selected, CAT scan informs us how many assets are expected at this site via the counter. In this instance, there are 10 included. To start the audit, it's as simple as pressing the start button. You'll notice now the start button has turned red and is now says stop. Now the mass RFID audit function is turned on, we can walk around the vehicle and start scanning for assets. records are found, they are populated in the list. If the assets are found to be at that location, they are highlighted green. If the assets are highlighted red, it means that they are found, but the information Hardcat knew about it, it means it was a different location. Once we are satisfied we have found all the assets and have completed a thorough walkthrough, we can press the stop button to complete the mass audit. All the green records, as you can see, have now been selected for the final audit verification. If appropriate, you can also select the red record press audit and this will update those records with an audit date and timestamp and move their location to the location selected for this audit. To confirm if anything was missed, we can use the exceptions functionality. When we open this function, it will by default restrict the list to the location of the person that was audited. This list now shows all the assets that were expected to be found scanned. In this instance, there was the car itself, because the tag is actually still left inside, a Coleman air blower, and a vac steam master. In this example, there are three missing. 
As we know the tag associated with this record, we can close out a list list and open the locate asset feature. The next feature we're going to show is the RFID asset locator. When we did our bulk audit, we were missing three assets. The vehicle, which was right here, which we pressed the audit button on. We had a steam cleaner, as well as a air blower. Let's try to find some of those assets. To access the RFID asset locator, we simply select the item from the CAT scan menu. With the RFID asset locator list now open, what we can do is we can find the asset that we need to find based on either by restricting on barcode, location, description, or person information. Alternatively, you can scroll through the list and find it that way. In this instance, I'm trying to find the Vax Steam, Gr Steam Grime Master. So what I can do now is press the scan button, and I can start walking around. And as I get closer to the asset, or it picks up the signal, then it starts making a beeping sound. So as you can hear now, by me going in this direction, I'm getting closer to the asset. If I turn away, go back in this direction, the beeping stops, which indicates to me the asset is not in this direction. So as I start turning again, I'm now getting closer and closer to the asset. And I have found the asset. You'll see that the indicator panel on the right hand side is showing that the number of pings is getting increasing as we get closer to the asset. And the pings get more frequent as well. Once we've identified that asset, we can then stop the scanning function and press audit. That will then put an audit date and time against that record to say it's been identified. The other item that was missing was the Coleman air blower. And again, we can press the start button. Again, start scrolling around, moving around, as we get closer to things. And we found it. It was hidden under the car. We have our tag. Found. And again, with this record, we can press stop and press audit to identify that that record has now been cited. If we now go back to our mass RFID audit functionality and select our Hyundai iX35 again, and we can use the exceptions function, we should now have no assets in there because we have ordered the car manually, ordered the steam vacuum, as well as the air pump, meaning now we have no assets left un unaccounted for at this location. Thank you for watching this video on the RFID mass audit functionality as well as the tag feature functionality. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Hardcap Support at support at hardcap.com or call us on plus 613-9695-5400. Thank you very much.